Stage manager says we're ready. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. I'm done with you now. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a very, very special evening, Sid Star. Six decades, one week, and one day ago, on February 9th, 1964, an event so momentous took place that 73 million Americans gathered in front of their console television sets in anticipation. A teenager on a farm just up the road from here was one of them. Watching the Beatles perform that night on the Ed Sullivan Show would ignite a spark which fueled the fire of a dream that continues on to this very moment. Over the years, this exceptionally gifted human being has done it all, from performing uncountable live shows to becoming a true multi-instrumentalist, to recording numerous albums in his own home studio, teaching others the craft of music and especially songwriting. He has inspired so many others, both in his family and in his surrounding community, to pursue music on some level. And it is because of this that his contributions to our local culture are truly immeasurable. His songs seem to freeze time and expand the imagination by using words and melody to paint stories so vivid that you feel like you are actually there. His songs have an intrinsic ability to create laughter or tears or make you think of days or events gone by or imagine things yet to come. He has found a way to intertwine his love of family, music, farming, and friendship into a beautiful balance of living in the moment. We are so grateful for his willingness to share these gifts with us all. And so, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, we invite you to relax, sit back, or get up and stop your feet. <laughs> As we see, hear, and feel the music of Sid Stessler. When it comes to Craig's biggest musical influence, he could write a book about his Uncle Sid and the impact he had on Craig's lifelong relationship with music. After his family moved into the new house next door, he was able to spend the rest of his childhood on the farm. Cousin Sonny and he were more like brothers than cousins. From a young age, Sid taught them that hard work is the key to whatever you do. Whether it's picking potatoes or guitar strings, anything is possible if you put in the time. Sid taught Craig every aspect of being a musician. How to book gigs, how to promote a band, how to write songs, how to run a soundboard, record songs in the studio, as well as taught him all he knew about each instrument. How lucky he was to grow up under the watchful eye of the original rock and roll wild boy. <laughs> Father say, why, 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 my child? Just 
613 I was picking records on my brother's machine But picking records was just a game I'd pick the ones with the funny names I'd put the needle down I was never the same Here we go! Wild, wild, wild And the boys were wild And my father said Why, 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 my child? Yes, I recall it was quite a sight A Sander Theater on a Friday night Or a Saturday we picked the girls in the seats up back. We're throwing candy and cracker jacks. They're sneaking in my friends through the fire door. That's right. Wild, 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 and the boys were wild. And my father said, Why, 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 my child? You know what he'd say? It's just a miracle that you live With all the stupid things that we did We've come a long way, we've come a long way We've come a long way now Ain't that the truth? Saturday we would always plan our escape We'd hitch a ride to the roller rink at the rink But roller skating was just a scam We're chasing girls like a wolf does lambs Just sneaking them away to my father's camp The play cards Wild, wild, wild and the boys were wild and my father said, why, 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 my child? And the boys were wild, 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 and the boys were wild. And my father said, why, 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 my child? Thank you so much for teaching us how to be wild boys at a very early age. You know, he, uh, my father has taught us a lot. I went to Pittsburgh uh, one time. I was playing saxophone in a band, and uh, the leader of the band says, hey, you, you play like a guitarist. And I said, yeah, that's because my dad play, taught me how to play saxophone, and he's a guitarist. <laughs> Before introducing the next act, I've got a quick uh, little piece of business. There's three vehicles that Silver PD is kind of thinking about maybe towing. They don't typically tow, but um, there's, there's three vehicles that if we could move them, it would be awesome. You could move right across the street to the uh, old Robinson's parking lot. Uh, Toyota 4Runner, 9570YA, a blue Tundra, 1649ZX, and a white Explorer 460AWF. Bingo. If you could move those, you will probably appreciate it. You save your seat. This next group would have never been, had it not been for Sid inspiring Craig and Brian. In the mid-2000s, Craig's son, Jacob, started playing the mandolin. Soon he was jamming with a fiddle player named Catherine Strauch, who unfortunately can't be here tonight. A chance meeting at Mountain's Market resulted in Craig running into Brian for the first time in nearly a decade. And while talking, Brian mentioned that his daughter Morgan had just started playing bass. 
Soon they got together for the first time and it was as if Jacob, Morgan, and Catherine were long lost friends and the rest is history. For the next three years, Harmony Hill traveled all over Maine performing acoustic music. Looking back, it's clear the seeds were planted by Sid long before this, as acoustic music has always been at the heart of what he does. His influence has been generational. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Harmony Hill with special guests, Sonny Stutzman and Jimmy Bell. This song's always been special. Again, Sid's always uh, written songs that paint a picture, and I never got to meet this guy, but this is a true story of a guy that uh, was friends with my grandfather and uh, spent a lot of time on the farm. I would say with the 60s, 50s, 60s, somewhere in there. It could be inaccurate, inaccurate information, but uh, this guy named Richard Crane, and this is uh, his story. This morning is sun up, he will arise. He's leaving his wife behind. He worked in the dirt with a sweat in his eyes. He's thinking his life was a long time. Well, the years sped by, and he realized he was old. And marrying his wife, she was dying. Trying, oh, he tried, but he already know that he can't save her life by crying. So old Dick proceeded to poison himself with liquor day by day. He never went out without a bottle from the shelf. He say that I drink it along the way, and he hates himself for the life that he had led his best friend was his dog she's named Julie but his love for his wife his own life he surely give just to have her another Hoping the next world will just make 
him away. But the sun it never set on that poor man's broken heart. She's married, he'd never see again. So all you who are listening, try to live life from your heart and take a lesson from Richard Gray. Take a lesson from Richard Cray. Just take a lesson from Richard Cray. Thank you. Now, usually I say, that's a Sid Stessman original, but we can take that for granted tonight that all these songs are Sid Stessman originals. So I've been playing a long, long time, and I always try to work a couple. No matter what style of music I was playing, I would always play a Sid song or two a night. And I always got to say, that was a Sid Stessman original, but I never thought I'd see the day. And I'm just so grateful that Mr. Brian Smith came up with this concept, and we get to honor all these songs. We just scratched the surface. He has so many songs we aren't going to get to tonight. Luckily, we're only going to play 72 of them. <laughs> so, but there's a few we just can work into nine hours. It's really a good deal, though, when you break it down to buy uh, by the hour. Yeah. Hey, we're so we're so glad that uh, that Sid's a farmer now. But there was a time when he wanted to uh, work on the railroad, and uh, the song is it's a testament to that. Those times, I I don't know how long he worked, but I know that uh, it wasn't for him because he wanted to play music, and he was true to that. And uh, the way that it just worked out is. He uh, moved back to the place that he couldn't wait to get off from, and he's still on that farm, and uh, he's not on a train. And uh, so it's just uh, this song came of those years. And uh, so when he wrote this song, Sonny was just a baby. It's a song called At the Crossing. <laughs> Will I still be on this railroad? Will I quit if I can? Spend my summers on the halo Cause it's been too many miles Too long between the smiles In this too long road For a wife and child Stayed at home, you know. And watch my tune as they play. But every time I hear that whistle blow, I think about the life I could have made if I gave up this life and been a husband to my wife. Yeah. If I could change it all, well, I'd be with you. Well, I can still remember the times when we were poor. We didn't have a good for the mail. But we were never closer than when we were before. I left to find my fortune on the rail. I guess the time has come For me to figure out which way to go Will I stay at all the wrong? Will I leave to watch my children grow? It's been too many miles Too long between the smiles in this 
long road for a wife and child. Too long on the road. Jacob Stutzman on banjo. Miss Morgan Cameron on the mandolin. You're gonna hear mandolin. You're gonna hear a lot more from her tonight. The one and only Mr. Brian Smith, Sunny Sky Stutzman. And back there we got Mr. Jimmy Bell. Thank you guys for having us there. Jimmy Bell at first met Sid through his brother-in-law, Bob, who at the time was taking guitar lessons from Sid. It was probably in the 70s. But upon meeting Sid and Ronnie, he knew what a musical force they were. Through the years, Jim has recorded one of Sid's songs, when I fall in love again on his CD Living the Dream. Listening to some of the early recordings of Sid out live, you get to realize what a great performer he is. His honesty and musical sense stand out so much, and his ace up his sleeve is his songwriting. The pictures he paints about the everyday dealings with life, the stories he's told through his songs, and the way he's lived his life have been a big inspiration on the music Jim plays. Jim Gallant and his brothers Tim and Mike. Well, thank you so much. It's such a treat for us to be up here in honor of. Thank you so much. Great songwriter, and I'm going to plug this in, so yeah, I want to let you know. Bingo. There we go. So. And it's such a treat to play this music. It's music that just says so much. to see my gun watches me with his evil eyes where I plan well he will memorize he bides his time till I'm not around and he brings his family down to clean my garden out fly crow fly fly away into the sun Must have seen a gun. He's a terror of the springtime. Laughs at me the whole summer through. But when the fall and winter withers in the air, he won't fly south like all the others do. Fly, crow, fly. Fly away into the sun, fly, grow, fly. Well, he must have seen my gun. to see my gun You can tell that he's in the corn patch There's one lone sentry in a tree But when I run to trade my shotgun for my hole He all seems to know He must know more than me Fly, crow, fly Fly away into the sun Must have seen my gun. Well, he must have seen my gun. 
Well, he must have seen my gun fly, crow fly. Hi, oh, Ronnie. it's a great song, so thank you, thank you Sid. And, uh, you know, one of the prettiest songs that I've ever had to learn and love is, is when I fall in love, not if I fall in love again, but when I do fall in love again. And it's just uh, a song I recorded on one of my CDs, and it's just a, such a beautiful song. When I fall in love again It won't be like it was the first time When I fall in love again Won't be with a girl who's so unkind Save my heart, I won't give it away. I keep the pieces for a rainy day. Maybe I won't ever hurt this way when I fall in love again. When I fall in love again I won't throw away my kisses I'll dole them out so sparingly Christmas Eve, birthday wishes Won't hold hands for walks in the park. No more gifts will I buy on a lark. No words of love spoke in the dark. When I fall in love again, I fall in love again. Maybe there will come a time When our two hearts will be as one Till that day arrives All oh, my heart must survive Doing things I have to do To overcome When I fall in love again I'll take the time to look around me I won't be fooled by all the lies Let the beauty of her blind me my way and she
she can go wrong Live together but we'll be alone And I won't ever call her house my home When I fall in love again Fall in love again Thank, thank you, you Sid, for writing thank that song. Thank it's you, such Sid. a beautiful song. And, and Rainy. Thank, thank you, you, Rainy, and thank you, Ronnie, and thank you all. Thanks, all of you. John Kaluzinski. I think I got that right. John met Sid about 15 years ago. It was at the farm stand when it was just a farm stand. The Doughty Hill Band CD was playing on the radio, and he got into conversation with Nancy about... Roots music, and mandolin orange, and naturally, Sid. Long story short, Sid eventually invited him to a rehearsal one random Wednesday night, where they played and sang some, and they've remained friends since. Over the course, they've played a couple gigs together. Nothing big, just a few. And John had always regarded the gigs and the time in the practice room fondly. He's very happy to be a part of the event, and we're very happy to have him be a part of the event. And he's very lucky to consider Sid a friend. John Kaluzinski with Brian Smith and Don Potter. Hey. When I, when I first met Sid, first played with Sid, um, he had invited me to the, to the band room, you know, the practice room to pick around a little. And, and where I'm from, playing bluegrass music typically, uh, you always show up with something. And this night I showed up with a bottle of bourbon, and I didn't know how that would go if these guys <laughs> went over great. You, you guys know Sid, I guess, and all the snicker. And uh, so uh, I got there, and, I, and I, I uncorked it. And I said, I'm just I'm going to open it. I don't know what's going to happen here, but I, I figured it was polite. I'm just going to open it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to put it down right here, and if, if anybody wants any, you can, you know, kind of help yourself. And got about an inch off the floor and heard, uh, 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 give it here. <laughs> so, anyway, Sid, this is for you. <laughs> with my thanks, with my thanks, right? Meet us all back later, <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> because. Uh, because I am like a, a, a transient, a summer person up here, and and um, and Sid kind of changed that for me, you know, made made a destination into a, a home. So uh, I thank you. Yeah. And we're gonna do one of Sid's songs tonight, and this is a fun number about something Sid loves. So. Well, I'm getting to that awful age that comes after 49. My perception of the ladies is like that of vintage wine. Young wine might be sweeter, but with age it will refine. I might not be cool, but I like older ladies. Older ladies, older ladies, older ladies who Old ladies like to dance, old ladies like ski doos, old ladies, old ladies, old ladies who I like those things that old ladies do. are so beautiful their figures are divine they haven't seen the mileage of husband
husband's kids in time. But when it comes to conversation, you know they'll lose every time. I might not be cool, but I like older ladies. Older ladies, older ladies, old ladies who, old ladies like to dance, old ladies like to do. Listen up to this song I sing Somewhere in your future There'll be a sweet young thing You might not believe me now But I'll tell you true Someday she'll be an older lady too Old ladies, old ladies Old ladies who Old ladies likes to dance Ladies like ski doos, old ladies, old ladies, old ladies who I like those things that old ladies do. I like those things old ladies do. Thank you, thank you, Sid. so much, John. The Northern Gray is a family band comprised of Brian Smith, Morgan, and Clifford Cameron. Brian has been a part of almost every iteration of Dowdy Hill since it began. As longtime friends of the Stutzmans, Brian's daughter Morgan came to work on the farm as a teenager and played with Dowdy Hill. Cliff and Sid met through Morgan and quickly learned they had much in common with a shared love of the Beatles and recording original music. Each member of this band owes much of their musical journey to Sid. The Northern Gray is Brian Smith, Cliff Cameron, Morgan Cameron, and special guest Sonny Stutzman, and Don Potter. They're all up here. Just real quick about this song. Uh, so the first time I ever heard Dowdy Hill was, they used to come to the middle school and do a little um, Dover history through songs and they had like a slideshow and everything. That was the first time I heard them and this song was one of the ones that they did and it always stuck with me and then later in life ended up being involved with these people. So <laughs> that would be nice and fitting to do this one. <laughs>
Thank you. That was awesome. I've played that song a million times, different versions of it throughout the years, but sorry, that was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite Sid song. <laughs> we're going to feature this next one. We're going to have Dan add some really powerful moments to this next one. Dan's been the master of ceremonies. He's been doing that stuff, so we really appreciate everyone who's been, uh, who's been giving up so much time to pay homage to this excellent songwriter who's really inspired all of us. And so thank you all for giving up your time and all that. So we really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
Thank you so much. Thanks everybody so much for coming to this special night. I'm just blown away by the turnout. I guess I shouldn't be because everybody loves this guy as much as I do. And I just really appreciate everybody coming out for this. We're, we've had a great time putting this together and, and playing these songs and kind of putting our own spin on them, our own arrangements of them, and uh, it's really been fun. So, so a lot more to come tonight. We're about to try something completely dangerous. <laughs> One of the, well, it's a couple things. One of those is letting me sing. And number two is performing a song that Sid has not released. So this song <laughs> is aptly titled Fear. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Thank you. 
Dan Sherrill back there, the latest Downey Hill drummer. Because I was told I have to sing one. Uh, no, I don't play that. Because uh, I sound like Dad. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah, this is the last song of the opening set where we play covers. And then, um, and then the next set's going to be Sid Stutzman, the man himself, playing his songs. With Ooh. Oh, gee.
Thank you, Northern Gray. Sonny Stutzman. The weapon, we call him. The weapon. Yeah. We're going to take a quick 15-minute intermission. Please use the restrooms, enjoy the concessions, and come on back. Are we having a good time? Yeah. Welcome to Sid Star. Some musicians you may know will take part in this second set. Brian Smith, Sonny Stutzman, Larry Fanjoy, Dan Shero, Don Potter, Craig Stutzman, Cliff Cameron, and Morgan Cameron. I'm Grover Kilpatrick. I've known these guys for 55 years. So ladies and gentlemen, fans all of you of the Dowdy Hill Songbook, please welcome, a, a big welcome to one of the most musically talented and also one of the most prolific songwriters of Piscataquis County and the Central Highlands, Mr. Sid Stutzman. By the way, here's another gentleman you may be familiar with. Yeah. It's my personal pleasure to introduce Ron Hall. <laughs> the other half of the beginning. to sing. I would just like the families of Sid and Ron just to stand up. These are the folks who supported them through their journey. Thank you, Grover. Thank you. My family. Thank you. We're going to do uh, three first three songs that Ron and I co-wrote with each other. And uh, one of them was about the uh, the stream communities that used to live on uh, the smaller streams before the, the towns were settled. And I got the idea when one of our dear neighbors had passed away and we had a, his funeral in the East Sangerville Church, sitting there in that room with all the old people of the neighborhood. Uh, it really brought back memories and uh, I hope you like it. It's called the stream community. There's a church in my country town That stands upon a hill Two hundred years it's been there Seems like it always will And the children learned of God there and the young folks they were with And their families shed their tears there As they gave up their dead Oh, how I wish I could go back there There's so much that I'd like to see Before the big meals on the river Living in the stream community and Down the road there is a stream there 
where three mills used to stand. They ground the corn in sort of lumber. Now there's nothing but ruin. And all the care which would lead down here. Past the stones in the cemetery. And every name there tells a story. Of the way life used to be. Oh, how I wish I could go back there. This old and lonely town to be. Before the big mills on the river. Living in the stream community. Back when the horse was clean. Back before the smart machine. Back when the good old time was up full side of and down a line wide. Oh, how I wish I could go back there. So much that I'd like to see. Before the big mills on the river. Living in the street community. Living in the street community. Living in the street community. That was good. This, is, this next song is about how the Stutzman family came to Dover Foscroft and Sangerville area because my father was born in Louisiana and when he was five years old, his father passed away. And at the same time, as a Lithuanian gentleman living at the farm we now live at, who had lost his wife. And so John Miller got in a Lonely Hearts Club correspondence thing and met up with my grandmother Mary through this correspondence thing. So they're writing back and forth. I, I still have all the letters. And he was 59 years old and he sent her his senior picture. <laughs> <laughs> so how much has that changed? <laughs> anyway, this is a story about how Mary came up from Louisiana to live in Maine. His father passed away when he was only five And my grandma had to do her best to keep them both alive Times got hard and the things got worse and she had to make a stand So she won't let her do the lonely heights to find herself a man Mary, Mary had to make a stand Mary, Mary had to find herself a man Mary, Mary Had to make a stand Mary, Mary Had to find herself a man Oh, oh She sat my father on her knee The day the letter came She says I have an invitation From a man way up in Maine he says he is a widower from Lithuania And he got ten kids and a farm to run And he surely needs me there Mary, Mary, catch a train and ride Catch a train and ride Mary, Mary, be my mail on the ride Mary, Mary, catch a train and ride Catch a train and ride Mary 
Mary, be my dear Lord of Christ. Come on, Sonny. They were from southern Lithuania. This is a pie you've been waiting for. Do it with us. One little, two little, three little, four little, five little Lithuanians. Six little, seven little, eight little, nine little, ten little Lithuanians. One more time. One little, two little, three little, four little, five little Lithuanians. Six little, seven little, eight little, nine little, ten little Lithuanians. Well, the train pulled into town that day, a quarter after ten, with my step-granddad just a-sitting there with a whole wagon load of Lithuanians. <laughs> uh, what did you say to those little Lithuanians, Sid? They took one look at my grandmother and realized a new cook was coming. <laughs> and they got so happy, they started to sing, and they said, <laughs> Oh! Love that song. Love that song, Sid. Graham? Graham loved me the most. If you don't believe me, you ask Sid or Dick or anybody. She used to love me to death. We had a we had, we, we pulled some dirty tricks because yeah. every time something went wrong, we told my grandmother that Ronnie did it. Yeah. And so when he came into the house, it wasn't always a open down greeting that he got. Now she'd always say, "Gruesome to some hoot next." <laughs> At any rate. This next song is called Backwoods Man, and this is another co-wrote and that I believe that Ronnie wrote more of the words than I did on this particular song, so I'm going to let him sing it. Yeah. Thank so. you, sir. A one, two, three, I 
Now take me, don't you know? Yeah, down to them hotels. You know we ain't never supposed to go. Ah, I said, take me, pretty mama, but don't you ever let me go. Oh, I know. Look, I'm a clear living apple pie, trying to drive a backwards man. You guys want to sing it with us? A clean living apple pie track to drive a backwards man. I'm a clean living apple pie track to drive a backwards man. Thank you. If I, if I could just have a second, I have a daughter who's living in Los Angeles who's supposed to be watching this live stream. And so I, I, I just like to take a second and say, hi, Katie. I miss you, honey. Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. Okay. Thank you, Ron. Oh, Ron's going to take off. Chase is working behind the scenes here, keeping things rolling back there. Chase. Thank you. Stage manager. Thank you. One more hand for Ron, Ron Hall, Hall. Thank you, Ron. Too tall, Ronnie Hall. There's supposed oh, to be a whole bunch musicians. of people walk onto the stage right Morgan now. Morgan Don. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here they come. There we go. Oh, they were waiting little, for Ron. Little traffic jam stage left. We're, we're good. We're clear now. Welcoming back to the stage. Okay. Uh, this is a song I wrote about the passing of my father and how he always wanted to pass the farm on to us boys. And it seems to me tonight that that's pretty much the topic of this whole evening is is passing it down to the next generation of players and I feel proud and, and very honored tonight that all these people came here and, and and played my songs and honored me in this way so thank you guys so much Everything's broken Everything's new The raven has spoken There's nothing to do Pray for tomorrow And cherish the past Gather you round now Raise up your glass. The north wind is calling, cold wind from the sky. The colors of autumn are floating on by. The tree's golden splendor was silently stripped. Coming of winter lies cold on my lips. Pass it down, my children. Won't you pass it down? Pass it down, my children. Won't you pass it down? 
Harvest has ended. The fields for the bear. The wood for the fire. Is stacked in the shed. The cattle are crying. Oh, corn in the husk. Timing is perfect. Leave it you by Pass it down by John Won't you pass it down Pass it down by John Won't you pass it down Pass it down by children Won't you pass it down Pass it down, my children. Won't you pass it down? Please, will you pass it down? Why don't you pass it down? Pass it down. This next song, this song took me a long time to write because this, there's a lot to say about Mount Kineo, other than the giant hotel that was there that used to be visited by presidents and rich people from all over the globe. Before that, Native Americans came to Kineo because Kineo is made out of rhyolite, which is a flint-like material. So they'd come as far as New Hampshire to mine the flint there and at, at times they would meet other tribes and trade and it it, it became quite a place and uh, I guess it was a big hangout for, for Teddy Roosevelt he uh, he got beat up there by a bunch of Greenville guys <laughs> I think that's where he came up with that saying he said bully who has bully. it <laughs> yeah it's true The foot of old Mount Kineo. Took off my skis and stuck them in the freshly fallen snow. Wondered of this monolith from long ago. This Kineo. The Indians regarded you with awe. 800 feet of legendary lore. A mystic warrior and his mother, Mac, was shown. Can you? For centuries a red man made your pilgrimage And cut his tools and knives from off your stony ridge You became a meeting place, a summer tribal bridge Kineo Ah. 
times are moving faster There's a new man on the scene His skin is pale, he's noisy And he's driving a machine He's got a different legend He's got a different dream For Kenny O Now the steamship and her right Is crossing the set lane She's bringing kids and trunks And such and all that you can take you're no longer misty, now you're real estate in you. Now the hotel's getting bigger and the crowds are growing too. They're coming by the boatload just to have a look at you. Your well-trained patrons give you international review in you. But nothing will last forever, I know you know the song The coming of the automobile knocked you from your throne The road me to your hotel, so now you stand alone Can you go? Now the hotel stands in ruin, with splendor once it been no sleds buzz around the corpse of your once majestic inn. I wonder if you're laughing at the fickleness of man. In your... Hey! Thank you so much. Oh yeah, we got to switch out a couple people here. Uh, this next song actually is another co-write with Ron Hall, "Cool Water Run." We used to uh, we used to go camping in uh, Bodfish Valley every uh, springtime, and we'd hike for miles, heavy backs on our backs, and then we got in there and somebody'd be packed with a Winnebago. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna grab my pen, gonna take my path. Gonna bark this valley ain't coming back. I'm gonna take a little pizza, take a little bacon. Go where the fish are waiting for the taking. I'm going to cast my eye on a Boston line Sitting there by the northern pine Find a hole where the fish may bite Set them up till we all get tired Full of black bear, black bear. Shoot the full of trout bear, trout bear. Well, you don't want to be there, be there.
Pines Sitting there by the Northern Pines Find a hole where the fish may bite Sit them up by the firelight For the black bear, black bear. Swims are full of trout there, trout there. You know I wanna be there, be there. I'd had a band like this all my life, I never would have retired. <laughs> this, uh, this next song is about a, a couple who are very dear to my heart. Uh, Hang on one second, Dad. We got an announcement here. Because the cops say there's a white explorer, Kathy Sullivan, 460 AWF, parked at the stoplights will be towed. Geez, that ain't my car, is it? I don't think so, but if uh, this is your number, bingo. <laughs> What's the number again? Uh, 460 AWF, White Explorer. You got it, Kathy. Oh. That's what the cops say. The cops who aren't here, having a good time, enjoying themselves, listening to music. The ones who are out on the street in the snow right now, doing their job. That's, those are the ones. Well, whoever you are, you're going to be in trouble with Mama if they throw that off. Hey, uh, Dan needs a vocal mic, I'd say, from what I hear, wherever Dan is. Hey, I'm back here, sir. There, there he is. Go. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Moving around, I mean. Where was I? Oh, we're talking about Harold and Ida. This song is the ballad of Harold and Ida. Now, Joey Simpson is here tonight somewhere. Where are you, Joey? Hey, Joey. Joey is the first drummer I ever had. We're like 11, 12 years old, trying to learn music together. And we're hanging around his house all the time, and Harold and Ida were his parents. And Harold told us a story about the first time he met Ida, and he, he talked her into going for a motorcycle ride with him, and she was sitting back, being nonchalant, and he wanted her to grab a hold of him, so he, he was going as fast as he dared, and she still was sitting way back there and no interest in grabbing a hold of Harold. So finally, he, he come into this corner, and he was just rattling around that corner. And she finally slid up and she put her arms around him and she said, Faster, Harold. <laughs> he said he knew right then that she was the woman for him. This is a story of Harold and Ida, chainsaw mechanic and a stock race car driver. Had a life that was hard, but a love that was harder. Their love was truer than true. Met in the spring of 47, Harold was 20, going on 11 when he saw Ida standing by the side of the road. Their love was true and true. Now Harold was riding on an Indian full dress. Ida was barefoot and looking for a road test. Harold said, why don't you take a ride with me? Yeah. Their love was true and true. First gear let around, Papa tell the tires smell. I 
Still sitting back, way back on that back way Sitting pose, boom, posing, looking like a picket bear I've been sitting back, like Sunday on a pine bed Third kid, this is deep, she's gonna slide up pretty soon She's that laughing, laughing like a loon Fourth gear, here comes dead man's corner Leaning so high, feel the heat from the top And she moves up She finally moves up And she whispers in his ear Faster, hero, can't you go faster? This old bike is sure a disaster. Let's go to my place and fix her up real good. Faster, hero, can't you go faster? Since that day it was love and laughter. Hero knew she was a hard-riding fool. Girl and neither were married at the racetrack Threw them a son or two down with the pit crew Listen to years and the legend grew oh, Their love was true than true Now Harold was 45 at Speedway 95 Going straight out, caught his car on his suicide I have found him lying dead by the track Their love was true than true First gear let her out, found the pill and tied his bell. I just sit sitting back, but thunder on the pine bed. Second gear, four and four, then looking like a picket bed. I just sit back, like Sunday on a pine bed. Third gear, this is it, she's gonna slide up pretty soon. She's that laughing, laughing like a loon. Fourth gear, here comes dead man's corn. Feel the heat from the top And she moves up She finally moves up Whispers in his ear Faster, hero Can't you go faster? This old bike is sure a disaster Let's go to my place And fix a road real good Can't you go faster Since I paid for love ever after Hero knew she was a hog riding fool This here's the story of Harold and Ida Chainsaw mechanic and a stark race driver Had a life that was high for the love that was hider Their love was truer than true Their love was truer than true Their love was truer than true Okay, thank you. We can't do all our songs without doing one from the newest album. Our little rock and roll.
Did we practice this one? <laughs> Last year. <laughs> I don't know, how long ago did you move? 19 months or so? Yeah, it was, it was then. Do you remember? She can be a little out of hand, but oh hell, sometimes I can't touch her at all. Loving her has never been a gamble, she'll always be there when I call. She's not the kind of lady who plays games all the time. And you can't know her feeling till you read between the lines. That's why I love her, that woman of mine. She ain't afraid to get a little dirty She can work the fields over on that line Friday night she gets a little perky And that's the time I make her mine She don't give no excuses She don't give apologize I know she's got my corner When I look into her eyes That's why I love her That woman of mine Mine. She ain't never tried to change me. She ain't looking for a ring. Like a melting town of heaven, and I wouldn't change a thing. So many people ask me how we do it, was asking how I love so fine. And in my name there ain't nothing to do from the way that then I realize. Just wanna feel that passion, just wanna see that smile. I know it's so old fashioned, wanna wake up by her side. That's why I love her, that woman of mine. woman of mine That's why I love her That woman of mine Thank you so much. Is anybody else coming out? Is this a anybody else want to play on the blues? blues? Yeah, come on. We want everybody for the view, right? This is about um, one of the biggest pests you can have in a garden, and that is a moose. Now, it isn't like a moose likes to eat a lot of stuff, but he's got really big feet. And by the time he walks through the lettuce patch, it then it's pretty much tossed salad.
morning I was in a tomato mood Till I go out to my garden Pick myself a few Over in the corner But to my surprise There's a big hairy creature With two baby There's a moose in my garden Moose in my garden and he's giving me the blue. Service to see what he could do Cause he's eating out my lettuce And my rutabaga stew When the one has got this With a battle I need blue He's protected species, boy There ain't nothing you can do There's a moose in my garden Oh, no There's a moose in my garden Oh, no Won't somebody please tell me What I'm gonna do the moose in my garden and he's giving me the blue. They kind of smiled early the next morning when I battle I did blue. He not change the channel, man. He was listening to blue. There's a moose in my garden. Oh, no. There's a moose in my garden. Oh, no. Will somebody tell me what I'm going to do? There's a moose in my garden, and he's giving me the blue. Thank you, everybody. We're gonna bring everybody out here. We're gonna do one more song for you. And you can all go home. <laughs> you can't stay here. Except for whoever has the white explorer. <laughs> You'll be walking. You have a new home for tonight. <laughs> this, would be right a, this would be a good chance for me to uh, thank the Center Theater so much for hosting yeah. this event tonight. I want to thank Jace, my intrepid stage manager. Yes. I would really like to, uh, we would be remiss if we didn't thank Cliff Cameron, who's, this was his idea in the first place. His brainchild. Thank you so much, Cliff. And Brian Smith for putting the whole thing together, getting all of us rowdies yeah, organized. Woo! And I want to thank all you guys. So. Making me cry that first set. <laughs> I cried like a baby down the front. Ronnie and I were both were crying. <laughs> I think Bonnie and Rainey were crying. We, Maybe Dan was crying. I don't know. I was crying. We decided a while ago that if he was going to retire from live performing, we weren't going to let him off easy and go out quietly. We were going to embarrass him as best as we can. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't a roast. This next song we're going to close with with everybody. Some of these people have never played it, but it doesn't matter. This, this is... If you listen to the words of this song, this is probably, I can't say what's my favorite song of his, but this is right up there. Um, it's called The View, and it's a great song. You're my biggest fan, Brian. <laughs> you know, um, in case you didn't know, I brought some of the CDs that are left over from previous things. As 
I even found some of the 45s that Ron and I, Brian, made wow. of the lost child. <laughs> and those are free for anybody who has a, has a, I found them in the attic the other day. And those are free for anybody who wants one. They're out in the lobby. They make great coasters. Yeah, don't. <laughs> yeah, right. Just don't use them for frisbees. That hurt my feelings. Yeah. And don't forget uh, our sound man, uh, Jim Rectionese, too, for making a sound. Oh, man. Thank God, you, Litho. Yes. Yeah. Great job. Thank you, Litho. And, and our stage manager, Jace Robinson. Yeah. Come on out, Jace. Yeah, Jace. Give us a wave. <laughs> I was a lad, you know I spoke as a lad And I did all those things that a boy will do And I looked at old age like the coming of a plague Never thinking that I'd walk down that road too Now I got a little mileage on me and I changed my point of view. I can see the past so clearly, I can see the future too. The closer you get, the farther you see. The more you can see, the less you can do. And all that you are is all you can be. So you might as well sit and enjoy the view. do all those things that a man must do and I look at their youth as a struggle to find truth or oh, the trouble they save if they listen to you seems a boy's gotta find his own way with lessons that he learned no use in trying to kill him till he gets his bridges burned. The closer you get, the farther you see. The more you can see, the less you can do. And all that you are is all you can be. So you might as well see and enjoy the view. So you might as well see and enjoy the view. So you might as well see and enjoy the view. Thank you, everybody. Good night, and thank you all for coming. And thank all you guys up here, because you've been awesome, just so awesome. Thank you so much.
Okay. All right. We got one more we can do. Thank you. Well, night, Joy. now that we've done all the songs that we've rehearsed, we'll just pull one out we haven't in a while. You got this, Dan? Yeah, I think so. Hey, while we're uh, paused, I, I want to take a quick minute to say that when my wife and Brian had a chance conversation at Center Coffee House, it would truly change my life. Having the opportunity to join the legendary Dowdy Hill Band. A band which at the time wasn't necessarily looking for a drummer. <laughs> but I, she said, I wish you'd give Dan a try. I'd like to get him out of the house. That's is, what she actually is, uh, said. <laughs> is, my, is my guitar shut off or did it just quit? Okay, it was shut off. Okay, thank you. And I had sold all my drums. And I'd never even heard of a cajon. <laughs> but the end result was that I got to spend seven years under the musical guidance of Sid. There's seven years of the best kind of luck. Thanks for coming, everybody. I grew up on my daddy's farm. I thought it was a kind. Planting corn and the pulling wheat was the last thing on my mind. Every night when the sun went down, I'd shuffle off the town. I did the tire at a local bar till the morning come around. That's what I'm talking about. Don't you plant so deep your seeds can't fill the sun? That's what I'm talking about. Don't you come back in till the job is done? That's what I'm talking about. Don't you ever quit till the battle's won, that's what I'm talking about. Now, Daddy never understood my obsession with guitar. Always knew if I hold the road, well, I never would get by. One night after supper, well, he said these words to me. As I handed me a ticket I Nashville, Tennessee That's what I'm talking about Don't you pack so deep your seats can't fill the sun That's what I'm talking about Don't you come back in till that job is done That's what I'm talking about Don't you ever quit till the battle's won That's what I'm talking about There's a little desperation in my plan To turn these boots around the other way If it's any consolation, understand I still hear this word I heard my daddy say About. Don't you plant so deep your seeds can fill the sun? That's what I'm talking about. Don't you come back in till that job is done? That's what I'm talking about. Don't you ever quit till the battle's won? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Don't you plant so deep those seeds can't fill the sun. That's what I'm talking about. Don't you come back in till that job is done. That's what I'm talking about. Don't you come and prove till the battle's won. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Thank you so much. Been a great car.
Thank you, everybody, so much for coming and filling this place. This has been a dream come true. We've been working at it a while, and we couldn't do it without you. And I thought I heard Sid say a little while ago that he thought he wanted to start a new band. <laughs> Listen, you, once you hire the roadies, I'll be back. <laughs>